Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I was thinking of maybe upgrading this, because uh, it, it's not expensive to increase the number of patient cells, but it does say it increases the number of medical ward slots to two. One, two, three, right? But that means that maybe this one increases treatment ward to two, and then medical to three, and then treatment to three, so I want another slot in the treatment ward because I want to stop certain people from having certain problems, for example, um, well that's a bad one, but some people keep doing stuff, that's bad, uh, specifically the, the quirks that cause them to activate items that I don't really care to have activated, like these manias, or things like calm. Uh, the things that restrict what they can do for stress relief are not hugely important. Uh, you're already in, aren't you? No, you are not. I could just put you in for rabies right now. Let's do that anyway. Yeah, that's that. And then that's treatment ward. Yeah, I was right. So we're going to need way more just to get this slot open. But I can at least get... Do you know what? I think Dutch deserves it. Dutch has been with us for a good amount of time. It's only 550. That's actually uh, a very reasonable amount of money for that. So we are going on this mission here. That's what we said at the end of the last episode, and that's what I'm going to do at the start of this episode. We'll do the trinkets job. We have a new one for you. Character class restriction. You're going to have this, which is plus 33% heal skills. And we don't need to do the thing with this, because obviously you're not the type of healer that could have an opportunity to hurt people. Don't really want this. But what do I want? Good question. Maybe some stun resist would be a good idea, because if the healer gets stunned, you're boned. Or you could have another 15% heal skills. Less chance party surprised is a... Maybe a decent one. Less stress damage is also a possibly good one. Having a slow healer is not too huge of a different... Dif there. Too huge of a, a problem, because... Uh, if the healer goes after everybody else, then there may be something for the healer to actually heal. Uh, there's a stun resist. Yeah, you can have that. Jekri, you're going to get the things that plague doctors are good at. The disease resist is not... Uh, disease resist could actually be pretty good. 8 accuracy. And I'm not sure I want that because we're going to the ruins and there's not a lot of disease in the ruins. We're not going to be stunning very much, but what we really want is uh, an increased blight skill chance, because that's basically what Jekra is here for. Or just general damage or accuracy. So I'm very, fairly sure we have a blight skill thingy somewhere. Maybe not, okay. Got resistances. Maybe it was on one of these. Hmm. Oh, there it is. And that's uh, a less of a bleed resist, but more blight resist, so that's okay. Bleed resist is not hugely... I think Jekyll might need to go in to get rid of some of these as well. Spirits, religious visions and delusions. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay, because you're only allowed to do that anyway. So basically, they're all okay. Not too worried about that then. Uh, this joker here. We have this, which is more crit, more stress damage, and less of a virtue chance. And... Trap disarm, dodge, and that's basically buffing quite a lot. I don't expect too much stress. Well, I kind of expect some stress because in the in the ruins we get a lot of those creatures that are specifically stress dealing thingies. Uh, so we're gonna make you have I don't know stun skill chance is probably good. More HP, less speed, maybe. I'd like a speed buff, actually. Plus 10 dodge if HP above 75%. Probably go with that. We do have um, this. More prop. Is that better? Don't know. Is it better than dodge? It's permanent, so there is that. We'll go with it. My voice is starting to hurt, so I should probably shut up. Oh, right, we have to use these things, so we've got a lot less uh, room in our inventory for stuff. But as we go through, we will use these up and there'll be space again. I'm going to take a couple of these and a couple of these. 
Maybe three of these. And then the stack and half torch. Got a holy water, we've got an anti venom, which we don't really need, but it comes for free. That seems good enough. Right, we have to find three of those things, which means we can't um we can't sort of scum it up as it were and avoid any dead ends that are shorter that we could normally chop off. Hmm. Space or click? I will click. Can Thank you. Defiled be consecrated? This is bullshit. <laughs> so we have to find all of those things. And we're going to have to do all of this and then backtrack all this way. Luckily, we will get a camp. So I guess we'll be camping back in this room when we get back. But uh, I suppose we'll just head off and hope for the best. This is not what I look like, by the way. Already stressing out. And already glad that I brought several Even the shovels. Cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Kind of wondering whether I should have brought more shovels than that. Probably. No combat yet. Stress though. Trap though. Good dodge. Well done, Jackery. This is herbs, right? Don't have any. I think that's herbs. Don't have any herbs. So I'm gonna use Here's some combat. That's what we like to see. Right, you might as well play grenade the two at the back. Good. Five damage per round, and you have 20 HP. We won't use that dualist advance just yet, because we... Let's just activate repost. Plus one crit when repost, though. That's pretty good. We haven't got any bleeding going on here. We could just slice it. 7 to 14. 5 to 10. Definitely not going to kill it, but we can use a point-blank shot afterwards. Oh, it does move us back one. Oh, well, alright then. I was wrong earlier when I said... We can't step back again like the grave robber can. We can exactly do that. Can you not hit the fucking healer? You're gonna make me do the no quarrel with you jokes as well, aren't you? Reposted. Six. Good. Very good. We'll just uh, throw out a party heal or two because everyone got hit a little bit apart from uh, apart from Ed here, as usual. We could maybe kill both of these. We could definitely kill both of these. I'm not gonna move Ed. I'm gonna move me. We now can't point blank shot. We can point blank, but well, we can shoot that. Don't think that's worthwhile though. Uh, I think it's worthwhile. <laughs> a, that was an amazing amount of damage for a corpse. And B, puts us back in a position where we can do it all again. This is a stun, and it clears all corpses, and you've both got to go, so I guess either of you. I might as well try to stun. You resisted the move, but you moved anyway. Lose some HP. Now you're both in one hit range. Ha! Huh, good job. And you're too close to shoot anybody. That's what I'm learning from that. So when those two are at the front, they basically try and stab. Yeah, sweet. Broken. So that one's dead. Maintain right? Six. Mm. As I was saying, that one's dead. Thank you. Alright, we did take some damage, but we kept on top of it admirably, because, of course, we have a, a Vestal. It's unlocked, so I'll just open it. Pretty sure these are never trapped. Ah, thank you. That uh, that second shovel. I mean, I was kind of hoping that we would find a shovel at some point, but yeah, I can't really rely on it. It's not the sort of thing you put money on. Uh, we might as well do this. Ten is the highest roll we can make, and it was exactly the amount that we needed. Grave nibble, dodged. Our dodges seem to be doing pretty well, so I'm I'm okay with that. You can't have quite a high blight resist. But we can incision you, so we probably should. Six to nine, six to nine. You could kill it. Well, you didn't. You... Don't have a damage... Uh, is this a damage thing? Yes. You should definitely kill the thing. But, I mean, if, you, if your light could possibly hit the enemy, that would be splendid. But, okay. When I said there was no blight in here, I was kind of not include... These things appear in all dungeons, I believe, anyway, so it doesn't really count as in here. I mean, I, I understand that it is literally in here, but uh, the ruins are not known for their high amount of blight. We're using our, um, is this holy water? Nice. Well, there's all some stuff that we can't actually take home with us. 
That's 500, that's 500, that's 250. Not too concerned about that. We will leave. This is going to be a mission which does not afford us too much in the way of value, fiscal or otherwise, because now that we have that uh, that party that we can just take... Have we got any more? No. Probably won't do that again. We have that party that we can take with the antiquarian in them. 120%. That seems more than enough. I think we can sort of at any time make up the difference in valuables or uh, heirlooms as we wish. Oh, this is a thing that we need to use that one. So we've got a bit of a space now, so that's good. Hopefully we find all three in here. And that would be splendid, but I do not believe that that is possible. That's medicinal herbs in there. I think one of you has Dagnomania, which means obsessed with killing. God-fearing. Known cheat. Like me. Nope. Now we're alright. Dacnomania, I think, will open that thing and could become poisoned as a result. Our food has... What was in here? Probably a torch. The light. The promise of safety. Indeed. Safety. Scouting. Well, we need... At least we can avoid... Yeah, there's nothing there. So we've avoided the stress of backtracking that way. A trap has appeared. Somehow we avoided this trap on the way in and didn't notice it. And now we're uh, rattling our way forwards. Man. Does it make a noise based on who you got selected? Let's find some things to kill. Let us do that. Unfortunately, it will involve the stress of backtracking. No, it's just your plate mail is very noisy. No traps, please. Don't know how we avoided a trap on the way out, but not on the way back in. Guess that's just us. So we didn't take too much stress from that. We're, we're okay. And there is a... I know there's a... A battle on the way here, but there's also a couple of curious and stashed higher looms. Oh, nice. Who has... You've got a few. Just, just do it. God. <laughs> it's fine. This is just stress. Stress is a lot easier to get rid of and you have to wait a bit longer before it actually stacks up. No! You don't get to go first. It's me. I ain't getting to go. 15. Ah, that's okay. We'd resisted a debuff of some description. I will advance upon you. That was a really bad roll. Mostly for the riposte. Uh, we want... This one. Oh, no we don't. We want this one. I was hoping to Noxious Blast it, but... We resisted everything I gave it. That's a shame. Suppose we try and stun you again. Did do some damage. Still resisting the stun. What is this? You've got a 30% stun resist. Thank you for the riposte. It's less damage, but... It does, it's, a, it's free damage, I don't care how much it is. So this is probably going to be a kill plus. <laughs> or just two fucking kills, that's fine too. <laughs> One shot, that son of a bitch. Knife in the dark. Isn't that an Alice Cooper song? You can point black shot that open, just wicked slice at me. Yeah. Took a bit of stress damage because that got to go first. Thousand gold. Be wary. Fan of that. Triumphant pride precipitates so we want that unit to be in that position because the... The duelist advance. I'm, I'm demonstrating, but you can't see me. Uh, I know I said I'd probably camp here, but I'm actually not going to. The duelist advance activates repulse, which is definitely one of my favourite skills of all time. Oh, really? Good thing we got a shitload of food somehow. More gold. Doing actually quite well on, quite well on gold, considering um, we don't actually have the antiquarian with it. Yes, we'll take that, because we're actually running quite low on torches, somehow. It's probably because we had to backtrack so far. But we only have to find three of those things and use them, so this mission could basically end at any time. We have thingy, but I don't really feel the need to use it. Man, stop stop getting so stressy. What's the matter with you? I gave you a stun, still, stun skill chance, but I'm really not using it. No, thank you. At least there's only one stress unit in this one as well, so that's okay. But please stop shooting my healer. Uh, we can play grenade the two that I don't like the most. Perfect. Five damage per round is great, so I'm a fan of Jekra's skills there. And we will do this. No. That's bad. Repost, though. Good damage there. Some damage there. 
I mean, good damage is definitely relative. Uh, I guess we do this. I was considering using the thing that gives us torch, but actually, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> because, who cares? Smite. And we've got the stunning blow. And you haven't had a go yet. Which gives us 50%-ish. I don't think it's good enough. What's this? 13. It's not going to kill it. This could. I think we go for the possible kill. Of course you rolled as low as you possibly could. And you get to riposte, but you've got such high protection. 45%. We don't have anything to reduce that, so maybe we should think about putting a noxious, noxious thingy on that as well. Thank you for resisting everything, by the way. You're marked, but you're being shot. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get rid of that unit before it had another go. So, some of these people are probably going back into the uh, various horrible places that they end up... Please, blank. Good. Five damage. That's going to take a lot of uh, a lot out of you as well. Open vein will not reach. Wicker slice will not reach. We will basically have point blank shot. Which at least gets the kill. Uh, and sends the corpse to the back, which is okay. But I want to get rid of this. And I am not being given the opportunity to do so. This, uh... Yeah, 13. Can't hit anything in that position. 32 protection and a mark. I don't think it's worthwhile. I'm just try and keep this stunned, I guess. Yeah. Avoid it having a go. That still does 5 damage. Plus the actual small amount of damage it did. Yeah, we keep uh, stacking these up as well, because if... 10 damage per round. That's dead. So we're alright with that. Eldritch pull. Interesting. Have you given up with your stressing me out? I still stress me out. Okay, fair enough. Still forward one. I can still hit you. Thank you. That's uh, actually a very valuable thing to have done in that position because now D's back in a healing position. And she's probably going to have to heal herself at this rate. Eight. Because we have 33% extra. Maybe I should have brought them both. Not sure. This is how a life is taken. Wow, dude. <laughs> what are you even saying? Listen to yourself. Right, let's get rid of this thing. Noxious Blast, play Grenade. I mean, the play Grenade is basically the same as the Noxious Blast, so it doesn't matter that we only get half the value out of it. And that was really good, because it did one damage and then killed it anyway. Now we have some uh, herbs, but we can't really use them. I'm going to take them, because... I think these are usually good. Yeah. We got a buff. It's a protection buff. Okay, cool. Plus 10 dodge until the next camp as well, so basically if we don't camp, <laughs> we'll be better off. Just screw books. To hell with books. They keep ruining me. Again. Oh, okay, good. We're best surprise. I was going to say again, I've managed to trigger a thing just as I was about to pop a torch, but... I think we got we got lucky with this. So you're on... If we roll high, then we can probably kill it with Jekry. Or we could miss. Right, Jekry, you're in the wrong position, but that's okay. I kind of just want to make sure this one dies ASAP. So, stack up these. Stun it, maybe? Ah, yes, that's what we want to do. That means we can put another plague on it next round. It means it's basically dead, is what I'm thinking. Uh, you have plus damage versus unholy. Which is almost certainly going to kill this. That's exactly how it happened. Unfortunately, there is still a corpse there, and we didn't move D back. So, Jekry can't do the stab. But Jekry's not really using the stab, so I'm not too salty that I made that mistake. I'm more upset that I made the mistake, if you see what I mean. So you can have this. Even if it doesn't stun you, which it could... It brings you back here, so I can basically stab the shit out of you. 40% bleed, 6 to 11 damage. It could just kill it, but this is even more likely to kill it. Again, I would have maybe preferred if the actual damage over time there had done something. But whatever. Uh, you can heal what is essentially me. That's your job. Keep me on the straight and narrow. Keep me sane. Smite that for death. Cool. I mean, these two units have taken a lot of stress damage, but this these two have not at all. At well, obviously. Success. They have taken zero. So you'll move here. And you'll move here. 
And we're back in formation. Well done, everybody. Ah, so now we can use these. Swell. I'm a fan of that. It's another torch as well. Somehow someone fit a torch in there. I've seen torches. They're bigger than that. Uh, this is the room we started in. It's not. Hmm. Hello, what is this thing? It's a gargoyle. Only two of us are surprised. Lash of the tail. We'll, we'll learn a lot about this now, I think. Stun? No, I move. I would have preferred if you'd moved that way. Fair. But it was also a stun. I do... I have noted that. And this can be used from all four... From all these three positions, which is also very good. So you have 50% protection. You have dodge. If we hit you for five, then Jet Creep can finish you off. Which we did. So you're not going to get another go. Jet Creep, please do the deed here. Excellent. All right, you're done. I can ignore you. That's really good. I'm very happy that this uh, turned out the way it did. D's not really going to get a go in this position. Not a useful one. Uh, but our first encounter with this gargoyle. I can't want to say narwhal, but that's because I heard the narwhal song by Weevil earlier on today. Our first uh, gargoyle interaction has turned out to be actually perfectly manageable. So I'll do this one, because that actually could kill it. Yeah, so that one's dead. If I'd done that one, it was already in killing range. From that. So now that one's dead, and we are done. Perfect. And everyone's basically in the right place. You're unforgiven too. Right, that was uh, interesting that we learned of a new enemy. I thought you were saying, wait, let's use this thing. Which I do want you to do, because we have holy water. We do not have holy water. No, no, no. And I don't want to use that either. Okay. <laughs> Avoid all those things. So we learned one thing from a gargoyle, which is that it has a stun and move lash of the tail. Which doesn't do very much damage, but it is some damage. But that's all we know of them so far. I know there's a battle coming up, so I'm going to use my torch now. This needs to die, but it will probably... Ah, it gets to uh, go last. So it has actually got a chance of dying. Again, I'm going to play... We're going to plague grenade. And even though it can hit two, it's basically a noxious blast that can actually reach. Or duelist advance. Chance of dodging, because this does have a 13 dodge. But we didn't bring the um, occultist, so... I guess that's okay. We will do this. That was actually fours, even though this is two to three. Because of our trinkets. So I'm happy with that as well. This can... Well. Okay. That versus that. Dead. Unfortunately, we did not quite do enough damage to get rid of that thing. But that's okay. All we did was five stress and a demon's pull. And then... A dodge. Perfect. Well done, Jack. More like this. Bleed. You are human. You can bleed. Then I shall. That's a proper dirt, that is. See that? And we'll advance. And that's going to die anyway. It's going to bleed. All you can do is move, unfortunately. But do you get a go? No. But you can heal everybody a little bit, which will make up for the damage that this has done while still being alive, so I'm okay with that. And everybody's back at full health, I think. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Sure, I'll use my point blank shot, so I don't even have to worry about reorganizing my party afterwards. That's really nice. Success uh, so clearly no, excuse me? 500 gold, or, is it or 500 gold. Well, light? 500 gold that you can stack more on top of is worth more than 500 gold you can't stack more on top of. I've only got one <laughs> torch left. <laughs> Tells you how much you get back for them. I'm very not concerned about taking anti-venom. No one's touching anything. Which is fine. Shut up, you. No, uh, no combat, I believe. That's right. So we don't know what's coming up. But we basically got this in the bag. We probably should have camped just now. Yeah, let's camp. We will camp because we're taking so much stress damage. And we've done the entire dungeon, every single room, and not worried about it. So now, our entire purpose is to get rid of all this stress. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> we'll do that. You will get rid of some of Jekyll's stress. And some of these stress. Excellent. 
And then you... I've only got wound care. Blight and disease. So you might as well get rid of this bleed. What are we on here? 26 and 21. So these two units are perfectly happy to go out next... Um, adventure. Did I miss the two things that I was supposed to use? I bet it was fucking nap. Oh, you dick. Look what's just happened. I didn't realise that was a quest location. And I bet everybody's been yelling at me. There's a fucking quest location back up there. Well, we're going a long way back. Hopefully we won't get too much stress from it. That's fine. Here's one now. How come when you get a pile of stuff like that, you get the opportunity to use shovel straight up? But when you get a quest item, that's the only thing you can do with it. You have to drag it. Maybe we should have uh, realised that we'd fucked up before we started camping. And also, I'd like to... Ooh. Use a torch, please. D, please, please heal Jackery. Well, we play grenade these two. This is going to all be based on a horrible misplay, which is that I didn't realise that I'd screwed it up. 21 dodge. That's a lot more than I'm happy with. Well, we try. It succeeded. And you can smite this for sure. Oh my goodness, really? You got 25 per section. Oh, it's not the one with the uh, cudgel, it's the one with the sword. So you're going to do a full-on heal on that. Like, 10 is okay, but it's not as good as the occultist. Especially when the occultist has got the debuff to bleeds. Oh, it's going to be awful for stress. Well, you live and learn. Don't forget to check the paths before you leave. Do you move back? Yeah, you do. Nice. So we play grenade again. Which basically brings these into death range, yeah. You're going to lose half your HP in one hit. In one turn. You dodge, which is great. And you get a go, which is great. We zealously accuse both of you. And hope that you don't dodge, which apparently you can do. I suppose politicians are really good at dodging accusations, so... Why shouldn't you? Are you going to be on death door? You are on fucking death door. Jesus Christ. Feel the shit out of Jekku right now. Man, what we really need now is an occultist. So we can probably kill... You're going to die. So you're going to die too. We critted, which is helpful. You never miss. Apart from <laughs> numerous times that you have done so. Uh, here. No. Good job. Uh, a bunch of stuff is nice. This and we have got keys. Push on to the More than enough. Wow, well, we've got plenty of these things. Jesus. Okay. You. We could have hunger, so I'm not going to eat any food. Oh my goodness, all the fucking way back. <laughs> what a terrible thing to have done. Well, bear with me, won't you? The next uh, 20 minutes is going to be us wandering around these tunnels and hoping not to find any more combat. Because we've run out of torches. Hello. I'm very glad that I saw that. Because I really wasn't paying attention. So now we're going to do a dark walk. Again, a lot of stress. All the freaking way back. Up there. We've done... We didn't have any holy water. No. We've got plenty of keys. <laughs> Help. Just, just no combat, for goodness sake, please. No more corridor battles that we weren't expecting. We can do this. We can survive it, even if there is another corridor battle. It'll be okay. And D does have a light-giving thing, so... If we're not taking too much damage, there's the hunger I was expecting. With a bit of HP on top of it. If we don't take too much damage that D has to cope with, we can start cranking up the light levels a little bit. But we're not losing too much light as we go by, so... We should be okay. We want to get out of here as soon as possible. So if you could walk a little bit faster, maybe sprint around a little bit. Let's uh, put you where you're supposed to be. There we go. We've been very lucky not to have found a random combat so far. I mean, there's still a chance. But 
it's not uncommon that we that combat appears in already yeah there we go already explored corridors let's see it's goddamn magnets right, check we just stabbed something <laughs> okay let us heal we can kill these more likely with this and so on two damage I think I'd rather take the likely kill than the guaranteed kill. Another one falls. What are we gonna grave nibble? Is that stress? Ow, yes, because it was crit. Get more loot though. So there is that. Flight's not ideal, but we do we can clear it. Uh, which means we should try and stun something. So that we can get both of these units to have a turn. Especially this one. Alright, you need to heal Jekry a lot. Can you please crit a heal? Is that too much to ask? And then Jekry gets a go? You get a go. Oh, Jekry doesn't have the... Never mind. <laughs> I forgot that Jekry doesn't have the thing that gets rid of heal. It's okay. Fuck it. Stab that. And then that dies. You what? <laughs> no worries, it was bleeding. Well, a bit of cash. These That's the uh, plus can loot. Be they can be beaten. Ah, don't don't stress out, uh, Wayne. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Just <laughs> keep your heads together. We're not losing too much stress either, as uh, either from the torches or from backtracking. So I think we'd be okay. But we did basically lose all the progress we'd made on Jekyll's stress when we camped. Well, that's to be expected if you make a huge mistake like that. So, I guess the point is... Oh, fuck. Please be good. Ooh. Aha! 20% damage until camp. Well, it's too little too late, I'm afraid. Very trepidatious. Very trepid. About uh, accidentally... Screwing up a trap thingy. Right, we're done. Let's go. So we're going to have to put Jekry in for some treatment, but that did not bat as, as much as I was expecting it to have done. Oh, those keys aren't worth very much at all. How did we not have anything? Oh, unless that was just from that. Okay. Guess we'll see. Warren's Phobe, not good. Ruin's Phobe, even worse. That has replaced Hyromania, which is probably what just caused us to get a buff, so I'm not... <laughs> I'd rather have the Hyromania, that seemed pretty good. Backtracker meant that Jekry wasn't taking any stress from that. Which is a shame. Four speed on first round is pretty good. That looks like a disease. It is. Oh god. Well, everyone's going in for treatment. Luckily, two people should have just come out of treatment, so... I can still see that Duchess no longer got rabies. The Paper was no longer played. was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Good, good, good. good. Now, we've just beaten that one mission, which turned out worse than expected because of my fuck-up. But now we have Ed to lose Vampiric Spirits. And we had one more disease, I think, on everybody. So we have one more disease altogether, which is Rabies here. So now everyone is undiseased. Why is this... Is it the level of the character that is the price of these uh, thingies? Jekry needs to get de-stress. Is Jekry a specific de-stresser? Gambler. Which we can do. That's expensive, but that's okay. That's your budget, by the way. Don't spend it all at once. Okay. Well, that went okay. Who else is stressed? The... Everyone seems to be okay here. So we'll sort by level. We do have a higher level uh, party we can take out somewhere else, but we need to get a few more Deed, so we might do another run with our antiquarian down there. That seems to be pretty good, actually. Again, with the three corrupted altars, but okay. Uh, we do want to upgrade the blacksmith as soon as possible as well, now that we've upgraded the um, the guild. So, this reduces the cost, but I kind of want to be able to get to the next level of armor and weapons, because our level three units are going to need level two or three, I think, armor and weapons, in order to be able to be effective I mean, we were okay in that mission, but we're going to have to go... I think the next one up is going to be level 5 missions based on the progression so far. We did get a new trinket, which is this. Quick draw charm. 
Plus 8 speed on first round, plus 5 crit on first round, minus 3 speed after first round. That's interesting. Who would you put that on? Maybe, um... Maybe someone who you'd need to do something early on the first round and late on later rounds. For example, the uh, Jester could do a buff very early on, but then later on can benefit from other people having done stuff. So that seems like a good thing for the Jester there. Well, we'll see about that later. Uh, for now, I think we'll uh, end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll decide where to go. and We'll maybe look at upgrading a couple of things. Uh, perhaps the stagecoach to to have our final few people available here is to fall. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, or we're going to try and upgrade the blacksmith. Uh, the guild seems to be upgraded enough. So, until then, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Enjoy your bagel. You know, go and have a lovely cup of tea. Sleep well. It's pleasant dreams. I'll see you tomorrow.